and a lot of that's just like through observation of like watching watching my folks work you know, like throughout their entire lives and just like you know and 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 wondering like going into retirement too and just trying to figure it out like what the hell are we going to do you know once we're done working mm -hmm. you know they have this yard you know that they they love and they love working in um and they can continue doing that but you know i always wonder like when when is there a breaking point in terms of like when is enough enough you know Well, I guess like the paintings, they, you know, they're abstract to a degree, you know, when you're up close to them. But again, when you're back up, like you see everything, you see everything clearly. Um, and I think that influence was just being, you know, at home again and being in the moment um, and seeing, you know, these things kind of happening, seeing the labor that's happening in the yard and just seeing things kind of like begin to you know, build or, you know, these structures beginning to happen, whether they are like intentional structures or structures that just like are just for functionality, like, you know, stacking the wood perfectly uh, or, you know, raking the yard and just like making a pile, you know, in a particular spot. It wasn't about memory anymore. It was about being in the present and just like kind of taking advantage of those moments, you know. Since I didn't have a studio, I, I made the backyard my studio, you know, to some degree. And I think I'm gonna continue doing that and playing with that and just seeing what else I can kind of like build, you know, uh, in terms of that uh, to gain more inspiration, you know, more images to kind of play with within my work. But I also like the play between like perspective and the way we see things too. And I think that's the reason why I stick with like making these paintings expressive, you know? I like the, the act of them like breaking apart and you're seeing these new, like layers, you know, building up to this like picture. Um, I always start my paintings with a, a, a gradient, you know, and I always like, I want this gradient to like kind of reveal itself, you know, when you're close to the work, when you're looking at it at the surface. I bring labor in a lot. The artists just like work on top of like work you already, you know, do for a living. And I think of these like sunrises and sunsets as like a, it's like a never ending thing. You know, you're constantly like just doing something like throughout the day. And I, th I think that's where that influence came from with like, you know, pursuing uh, these new paintings in such, uh, such a way. This was an act that my parents did themselves, you know, creating this grid. And so, you know, I took influence on that, you know, and started like making these sort of repetition compositions, these, these pattern compositions within the yard and doing things in my yard that is kind of unconventional, you know, probably, the, yeah, definitely not the I most ideal way to like do something or to, you know, cultivate the yard or, or make it, it look the way, you know, you see it in like magazines or, or you know, golf course or whatever. Yeah, I attended ACC from, or between 2006 and 2010. First one out of my family to, you know, attend a higher you know, a college uh, mm -hmm. or pursue higher education. I love the life drawing courses at ACC, the, uh, the number of you know, models that they had come in, the different types of models, body types. Mm -hmm. uh, it was fantastic. Uh, many of those drawing courses I took with Doug Jakes. He kind of took me under his belt in some ways, you know, invited me to like uh, the student exhibitions whenever they happened. Yeah, he was a fantastic uh, teacher. And it was really ACC that helped me further discover studio art.